Hi, I'm Gordon Palmer, a minister here at Claremont, and uh, welcome to this episode of uh, Claremont Calling. Things are very different, of course, this year, and uh, one of the ways that uh, Tear Fund have been organizing part of their work at this time of year was to be having a, a encouraging churches to have quiz in, in halls throughout the, cu the country, and they can't do it that way. We can't gather in church halls, but we are going to take part in the Tear Fund quiz this year. It's happening just a couple of days' time. It's happening on, on Saturday, Saturday um, the 14th of November, and Miriam is going to tell us a wee bit about that. Are you free this Saturday night? If so, come to our big quiz night. Henry VIII introduced which tax in England in 1535? Mm. Uh, um, oh, uh, give us a clue. Um, you should know this. Um, 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 K tax. No, beard tax. Ah. Oh. Big Quiz Night is a fundraising event for the charity Tear Fund. Hundreds of churches across the country are going to take part in this one quiz on one night on Saturday 14th of November. Ours is running from 7 to 9 p.m. on this Saturday. You can be part of helping people like Alaya in Malawi who struggled to feed her family due to the reoccurring devastating floods. Jesus says, whatever you have done to these little ones, you have done to me. This is our opportunity to help make poverty history. Next question. If you dug a hole through the centre of the earth, starting from Wellington in New Zealand, mm. which European country would you end up in? London, Paris. New York. You have to answer um, one answer. Uh, um, Manchester, because uh, I want to get to New Zealand quicker. Manchester is not a country, Jim. Oh. Spain is the right answer. Oh, man. You're... You can get a team together of maximum of four different households. So you can have four screens on a Zoom to make up one team. And you can communicate with your team during the night by a private chat function. And you know what? There's going to be prizes. So we have secured you a wonderful first prize from Cradleland House Hotel uh, for afternoon tea for two. We also have a voucher from Tikka Indian Takeaway Restaurant in East Kilbride and a third prize, a goodie bag for the third best team. It's all age, so you can gather your family even if across the country to join into one team. Head to our webpage under Big Quiz Night menu and you will see more information on how to register. The event is free, but we are asking for a donation of five pounds or more towards Tier Fund through the Just Giving page made for this event. The details are on the website or on our Facebook page. Final question. Yeah. What is the most common colour of toilet paper in France? Um, brown! No, it's pink! Oh. Looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. Be there and let's have fun and help make poverty history. Okay, thanks Miriam. And um, those of you who are particularly observant and have been diligently studying your calendars um, might have noticed that there's a thing on the horizon that people call Christmas. It's coming. And it's not going to be cancelled this year because there's a pandemic and there's all kinds of restrictions. There are, in fact, many ways that we can celebrate not just Christmas, but the season in the church leading into Christmas um, Advent, a, a time of waiting, a time of preparation, a time when we reflect on Christ coming and Christ coming again into our lives. And we're celebrating that in a variety of um, ways at Claremont, and I just want to um, flag some of, some of them up. 
from the beginning of Advent, which is right the, begins the last Sunday in November, the 29th, from then right through for the, the next while, we will be taking a good look as we did last year. We will be looking chapter by chapter at the 20, 24 chapters in Luke, probably beginning the readings actually on the 1st of December so that we finish on Christmas Eve. Last year, as well as encouraging folks to read that at home, we had a couple of gatherings each day here at Clermont, and sadly we're not um, allowed to do that, but we have been putting the readings, um, getting them ready for, um, to be shared um, online, and these will be um, available and going out each day from the 1st of, of December. So do join us in taking a good look. It's a great way to focus on what it is we're celebrating at Christmas as we reflect on the story again of Jesus the one whose birth that we are, we are welcoming. Also, on that weekend of Advent, um, it would have been this time on Saturday the 28th of November, we've usually had a drop-in reflection where people have been able to come down to the, the sanctuary here at Claremont and have various different reflection points as they've gone around the room looking at different aspects of the Advent story. Again, that's not going to be happening because of the COVID restrictions, but um, we are preparing one that's going to be distributed to folks so that you'll be able to do something like that, a, a reflection somewhere on your own at, at home. The information about that and the, the drop-in sheets will be coming out with the December prayer diary. And we encourage you to find time just to do some of these simple reflective acts at home, again as preparation, saying who is it and what is it that we are celebrating through the Christmas season. And then two things that we're looking for help with. One is to do Advent windows. We are hoping that throughout the parish, throughout St. Leonard's, we can have um, 24 windows with different Advent themes on design. So paper and whatever can make silhouettes, make colored um, this and, and that. We're going to give out 24 different um, ideas and themes for 24 windows. Maybe have a wee competition um, for folks, uh, um, some of the youngsters in the, in the parish to go around finding these, these windows and We'll let the kids who do that also vote on which they think is the best window, and we'll have a prize for the best window as well. So we need 24 or it doesn't work. So some, some folks have already um, got in touch with us. So if you think that you would um, be up for designing one of your windows and, on an Advent theme, um, do contact the church office as soon as you can, um, and we'll be getting that organized in the next couple of weeks. And finally, we also... Um, aware that for many folks, some of the events that you would have gone to at Christmas or maybe lunches here or an outing to a pantomime or something are not going to um, happen this year. And particularly thinking of some of our older folks, particularly thinking of folks who are living alone, we want to prepare a small gift bag that we can distribute some to members of Claremont, but also some to neighbors in the parish. So we're, we're putting together a few hundred bags and they're going to contain things like the Christmas candle and some eats of various kinds, um, some message and leaflet, and also a new CD that's being put together by our Clement Praise Band recording some, some Christmas uh, music. And all of that will be, as I say, available in a bag, and um, we hope that we'll be able to distribute them to many folks. Now, we have a number of folks in the congregation. We have a number of folks in, in some of our organizations that we... Um, know already who we would like to give these to, but we would also like some of these bags to go to your neighbors. So what we're looking for is folks to get in touch with us and say, I could take a bag to one of my neighbors. I could, I've got a couple of neighbors who could receive a, a bag, and please get in touch again to the church office, and Leslie's going to compile a list to see that we can share these bags is good news. We don't want to just send them out from Claremont. They are from Claremont, but we want you in particular to be able to take them to someone's door and hand them in as a, just a gesture of, of love um, from, from us. We also are looking for some help in putting the bags together. So if you've got any we decorating bits of pieces, we baubles or tinsel or stuff, Christmas stickers, um, contact either the office or Ann Jackson, who's looking after that. If you've got um, 
we're also making face masks to go in them. Thea Fleming's the person who's organizing, coordinating that. She's got a big task making 300 face masks. So if you can help out with that, again, contact Thea directly or via the church office. A number of these things, making the CD and, and doing the, putting the eats in the bag, obviously cost a wee bit of money as well. And um, so if somebody wants to make a donation towards it, you can either hand that in one Tuesday morning when the food bank is on, or again, you could get, contact us via the office or contact Mary McKinley, who's looking after the, the finances of this, this wee project. A couple of other things about it. Um, one is that we'd like to put also in with the um, bag, of course, a, a little Christmas card with a little message from Claremont, and that means writing 300 greetings. Um, so maybe you're thinking, oh, I can't help. I can't go out and do this. I can't go out and do the next thing. I can't organize this. Well, maybe you could take 30 or 40 cards and, and write 30 or 40 cards for us that we can then collect and, and, and put in the different bags. So we're looking for some card writers as well. And so again, please let the office know if you could help out in that way. And finally, there are some of the bags that, as I say, are going out to um, members of Claremont and folks in the organizations and, and indeed some of our immediate neighbors here to, to the church buildings. And so if you can help with the distribution that task that's going to be needed, then um, again, the office to get in touch with, or uh, in this case, Catherine McLaren. So that's a lot for the Christmas bags, isn't it? We're looking for decorating bits and pieces. We're looking for um, someone to write cards. We're looking for help with distribution, with making face masks, and indeed some finances to, if anyone wants to make a donation towards, towards this project, that we can say, Christmas is not cancelled. God is with us, God is among us, God loves us, and here is a message of good news, and here is a message of, of love that we want to share with our neighbors in Jesus' name. Let's see how it goes. So we're looking for help with the bags in these many ways, looking for help and volunteers for Christmas windows, Advent windows, sharing the story or something of the, the good news of the gospel. Here's a great opportunity for us to take the love of God and say, it's okay, the building might not be being used as much. But hey, the love of God can be out there and the good news can be out there too. So please do think and pray and, and volunteer and help us with these tasks. Thanks, and we'll speak again later.